Well, it's about time we talk about the final film in the Prophecy series, The Prophecy Forsaken from Dimension Films. Released September 6, 2005, starring Tony Todd. Produced by Bob and Harvey Weinstein, and written and directed by Joel Solson, who obviously did the, the one before this. He also did Pulse, Feast, well, I think he produced that. Cam to Cam, Hollow Man 2, and a whole pile of other weird movies. But yeah, um, Prophecy for Satan basically picks up right at the end of Uprising. And uh, yeah, so I basically follow Allison, the uh, human on Earth. She still has the manuscript and the manuscript, the prophet lexicon. Basically the only thing that came from the original trilogy. But yeah, uh, and this time Tony Todd won't leads a band of angels I want it and stuff and uh yeah she has to defend it from them and uh yeah it's pretty basic this film this film's only like an hour and 10 minutes long so um they could have probably just made a really long movie instead and we wouldn't have to sit through this but uh yeah it basically uh it's up to her to protect this book and yeah, it's basically cookie cutter what I just said <laughs> because uh, yeah, that's it's a prophecy film. It's this one is probably one of the, this one's probably on. I wouldn't say it's the worst. I'd say it's probably the second worst. Uh, I still think Prophecy Two is the worst out of all these all these films, all five. Uh, this one's pretty low there too because this one's just boring as well. Um, yeah, it's the same old, same old, same old that we've seen in the last four sequels. And they didn't really bring anything new. They brought in some a decent name, Tony Todd, Candy, Mr. Candyman himself. And, uh, yeah, besides having him in it, there wasn't really any point for this. Um, it's the same old thing, and it's super predictable, this film. Uh... Like, I don't even have to tell you anything else. It is just super predictable. And uh, I don't like movies like that. I find those ones are such a cop-out. And this was just milking the little bit of fan base that was left for the Prophecy franchise. So, yeah. I don't really have much to say about this one besides it's just super boring and predictable. So, with that, I'm going to give this one a 1 out of 5. Because, yeah pretty bad <laughs> besides Tony Todd that's like the only benefit out of this like the acting's pretty good the cinematography's not bad but everything else is just mundane boring stuff and you probably sl I slept through this film like four times before I actually finished watching it so yeah that shows you know, <laughs> it takes a lot to put me to sleep in the mood for a movie to put me to sleep so yeah it's pretty bad Share this link down below if you really want to check it out. Uh, also, my Instagram's linked down below because I'm going to be posting clips of films I'm going to review in the future on my story. So make sure you follow me there. I also like to hide the title of the film and a hashtag somewhere small in the video clip just for fun. So if you want to stay in the loop, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Uh, like this video if you really want to. Share it if you really want to. And uh, yeah, comment down below your opinions on this film. I'd love to hear your hear what you have to say about it um yeah also if you have any other films that you want to hear my opinions on any films at all in the future make sure you comment them down below and i'll try my hardest to get to them as soon as i can and if i can find them um yeah so make sure you do that and make sure you subscribe because i have no idea what the hell i'm going to talk about next christmas is coming soon but i don't know if i really want to talk about christmas movies not really my thing, so I might talk about one or two, but I'm going to try to find some other obscure, weird things in video movies that most people don't talk about. So make sure you subscribe, and make sure you stay in the loop, and uh, stay away from the Prophecy series, I'd say, besides the first one, because most of them are pretty boring and mundane. So, yeah. Well, now that i got all those out of the way, let's find something exciting. So... I guess we'll see what that is in the next review. See you then.